ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this first bout on the Quad Skate Shop track today. This is, of course, an exhibition bout between USA and Finland versus kind of the world. Yeah, we've got it down on our sheets as not Wales. Uh, <laughs> this bout is uh, occupying a slot in the schedule that was left because we had a team drop out, and obviously yesterday there was uh, USA, Finland and Wales only played a couple of games in their group, uh, so they're getting some extra track time. They've come all this way around the world. Yep. Obviously, Wales haven't travelled that far. No, comparatively. Uh, we should introduce ourselves. We probably should. Yes, uh, uh, a voice you haven't heard yet this weekend. Uh, my name is Phil Sven, will I be famous? And sitting to my right here, which you can't see, obviously, if she's on me right or not. Uh, this is Snoogans. So today we're going to be seeing USA Finland... Uh, are going to be uh, skating in the white and not Wales will be skating in the red. The not Wales strip, very, very reminiscent of the Wales strip. Surprisingly so. I'll just do a quick rundown of your roster as well while we're waiting here. So for not Wales, we've got skating Mannering, Hugo Boss, Lil Joker, Rogers, Jones, Swift. Ashton, McCabe, Kosh, Jamie Dodger, Henry the Skate, Slam C. Nesbitt and Sausage Roller. For Team USA Finland, we've got Scott Slamilton, uh, Eeyore Block, Hopper, Townsend, Cliche Guevara, Nat King Kill, Carlos, Tink, Binkley, Acidic Ferret, Mimesis, Seahorses and Wario. In Team Not Wales, you may recognise some ne you may recognise some names that you haven't seen yet. Uh, this is kind of a sort of almost a hodgepodge sort of team. Um, there's some officials that are skating in there. Uh, there's some guys that haven't been involved in the World Cup in other teams. Um, it, it really is kind of a free for all, everybody's getting in, wanting to get some skate time and having a lot of fun. And of course Lil Joker who of you course. will have heard of like yesterday and he will be back in the announcing table with us uh, later on today uh, once he's got his skates off obviously. I think his next slot is actually directly after this game. Yeah I did put him on the house for that one so <laughs> we'll get a sweaty Joker shouting at people in the crowd. They love it. Just as we're very nearly ready to start, I want to remind you to look us up on Instagram under MRDWC. That's the name. We want, to, we want you to send us your selfies. Uh, show us your World Cup spirit. How awesome would it be to be on the feed that's coming up on Sunday? Um, we really want to see what you're doing and how you're celebrating this inaugural Men's World Cup. It's been a great uh, day yesterday of international action uh, and obviously it's just going to get hotter today as we start getting further and further towards, or closer and closer I should say, towards the, uh, <laughs> the cup stages, those five prizes on offer. Yeah, there was some incredibly top-notch skating yesterday by all teams. Um, Argentina, a particular stand-up for me, only skating with eight guys um, and managed to win two of their three games, I believe. Yep, and uh, very impressive. I think they took uh, 54 points off England in the, in the opening yeah. game, which I think was, which shocked a lot of people. Um, especially since they seem to be, they've got a player who could quite easily slip into the uh, junior roller derby unnoticed. <laughs> All the teams, of course, coming out fighting 
and uh, Japan making a really big wave. A lot of people loving Japan, uh, favoring perhaps the underdog, some might say. But honestly, when Japan are in the house and they are on the track, you cannot hear yourself think. It's absolutely insane. The crowd loves Japan. Their Ninja Japan t-shirts, uh, they sold out in 20 minutes yesterday. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get a, a badge and a sticker from the Ninja Japan lot. Uh, but I'd still say the, I think the biggest cheer uh, of the day yesterday was when uh, Roll Call for Team Wales got a lead jam and then actually scored uh, two points on USA, the first points anyone scored on USA yep. in the competition uh, at that point so far. I think that was definitely lifted the roof of the futsal. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, somebody said to me yesterday it was the two-point scene around the world. Um, I can guarantee that we are going to be talking about that for a long time. Um, and then obviously went on to get a power jam. Um, and overall, Wales managed to put 13 points on the board, which is better than anyone did against USA yesterday. Scotland, of course, are going to be facing USA later on today. And uh, speak to some of the Power of Scotland guys, their main aim is to get some points on the board against USA. Essentially, their, their goal coming into this uh, was going to be to, if they matched up with USA, was going to be to outdo the women's team in 2011 at the Thunder Thunderworld Club and scored, of course, one point against yeah. the women's team. And looks like we have our first lineup on the track. Jam is on. Both jammers hitting the back of that pack pretty hard. Ashton coming up, hitting the wall of white. Binkley jamming for the USA Finland, picks up lead jammer straight away. Binkley coming back round now for his initial scoring pass. Managed to duke his way on the inside, gets past that wall of red for a full Grand Slam five points. Ashton going to the penalty box, did not see what the penalty was, but that does mean that USA Finland are on a power jam right now. I think it looked like a cut track from what I saw Cherry Fury was signalling. Quite possibly. Seahorse is just doing some on-track skate maintenance there. Looks like he's got a wheel issue. So that's going to temporarily reduce USA Finland down to two blockers. Binkley, though, not even relying on those blockers to cut through the Not Wales track team. Looks like Seahorse is going to retire to his bench. I think he's... Uh, got a, a real technical malfunction with his skates. Binkley there seeing that Aston was stood in the box, calls off the jam, meaning that USA Finland will start the next jam on a power jam. After that first jam, score sitting at nothing to not Wales and 15 to USA Finland. What Wario up to jam now for USA Finland. Ashton out the box now, steps around the outside on the track, picks up the lead. Beautifully done. As we get a Cedric Ferret, picks up a uh, cut track. Ashton there making his way to the back of the pack and calling off the jam just before Ferret manages to get around to score any points. No points for anyone that jam. Yeah, he was knocked off the outside by a uh, Nat King Kelly who ran back recycling. Forced that uh, call off. Jammy Dodger on the line for not Wales. He 
unfortunate. We've got Slamsey Nesbitt standing in the wing, so I can't even see USA Finland jammer at the moment. But it's IO block. And that's Jamie Dodger, lead jammer for not Wales. IO block not far behind him, though. Reasonably fast pack pace. Both Wolves not wanting those jammers to come past and score on them. Jammy Dodger making his way through the pack, picking up points. Eel Block managing to get in there, picking up two points, I believe that was. First for North Wales picks up a lead. We've got Townsend for USA Finland just battling away at the back of the North Wales pack. Eventually gets through on turn three. Jones cut being track, not cut track for the USA Finland. A power jam for North Wales. I think taking Jones all the way back. Tidy little jump just on the corner of the apex there. Jones making it round for a full five points. Hugo Boss and Ting just having a bit of push and shove on the outside in the pack. Jones just buries his way through acidic ferret. That was a hit and a half. Hugo Boss picks up the multiplayer block in the pack. So that's three on three pack. Three on two pack as we get McCabe going to the bin for not Wales for a back block. Scores after five and a half minutes. USA Finland sitting on 16, not Wales sitting on 18. Not Wales in the lead, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lead change. Micro pack up on track right now. Both teams with two blockers in the box. I believe Tink went to the box right at the end of that jam. I think it was a four arms penalty. Sausage roller picks up the cut track penalty, so it's going to be USA power jam now. With Townsend jamming for USA, two on two in the in the pack with only Jammy Dodger and Little Joker blocking for North Wales. Not the biggest of blockers, but probably the most agile on track for North most Wales. Definitely. Seahorses taking himself off track again with more skate issues. Hugo Boss back on track now. It's four on one pack here for North Wales. Wales now with a two to one pack advantage, managing to bridge all the way. So that's two jams now where we've seen Seahorses take himself off the track due to a skate issue. I think it may be something to do with one of these axle nuts because he skated yeah. across to the bench and why it was there, ready just to hand him uh, what looked like some axle nuts and he looks like he's changing them over now. Sausage roll is standing in the penalty box now. That's Bingley for USA, Finland. Straight through, picks up lead. Sausage roll have been taken right back to turn three before he can get back on track from the bin. 
Monitoring at the front just takes a tumble. Let's Binkley step through. Hopper being sent to the box, I believe, for an out of play major. Once more, sausage roll being recycled right back by Nat King Kill. Penalties being called left, right, and center. That one on Tink for failure to reform. Binkley slipping on the inside for a natural grand slam. Sausage roller is out of the pack. So USA Finland now pulled away a big lead from Not Wales. At the end of that jam, Not Wales still on 18, USA Finland on 56. That's Ashton jamming for not Wales, pops through the pack straight away on the bin straight, out for lead. Big hit on Wario, knocks him to the outside. There's a cut track signal, so it will be a not Wales power jam. Wario picking up the cut track on the crowd straight. Ashton now just being allowed to rack up the points. No, Wario wasn't actually sent off. He's, I think there was a misheard whistle. He, in, he looked, he saw the not lead signal, thought it was a cut track. I did see over on turn two that when Kosh took him off, Kosh also went off track. Uh, he may have misunderstood, as you say, with the whistle. Now we're going to see Ashton pick up, just let her foot stray on the... And when he's trying to bounce his way around the outside of the USA Finland Park, picks up the cut tracks, and now we switch to a USA Finland power jam. Wario now just trying to work his way around McCabe at the front, out of play call, he has to release. McCabe managing to hold him for a long time now. With only two not Wales blockers on the track, they've not got much space to bridge. Slam seen as but put for sure in McCabe, tries to take him down, but Wario slips through again. Four points, one showing as a no pass, so not the full grand slam on that one. So Slam C Nesbitt only on track right now, but joined by two of his Not Wales counterparts very quickly. It's a three on two pack advantage to Not Wales, but uh, USA Finland do have the power jam. Wario slams in the back of Kosh, picks up the back block. Just as the jam comes to an end, so we're going to start with a Not Wales power jam. However, the damage was done there by Wario, score standing 82 not, uh, to USA Finland, 29 to Not Wales. Got just under 18 and a half minutes left of this game. Having a jammer switch out, jammer starts in the box. Now returning to track, being recycled back there by USA Finland. <laughs> Cannot get past Tink. Tink is a man mountain. He's got the moves. He's just doing some great there. Backwards sliding, just pushing him to the outside and then forcing him round again to the turn one, two. As Cartoonan comes back to track now for USA Finland. Tries to recycle back behind Joker. Picks up the clockwise blocks to Cartoonan as soon as he comes back on the bin. He's on his way back there. Wario back on track now. The change in power jam is just as Wario comes back to track, we've got Ashton going to the bin for a cut track. Joker there with a great manoeuvre, just runs down the inside. Forces the cut track on Wario, so we're going to get to see a very short power jam. Absolutely. Uh, for not Wales here, I think there'll only be about 10 to 12 seconds to be served here. 
Wales with a pack advantage at the moment. USA Finland still with one blocker in the box. So there we go, power jam over already. Both jammers now in the pack working way through, but Wario is the one who manages to step through cleanly. Ashton just being recycled back again there. Natkin kill just seems to be the like as quick going backwards uh, with a jammer following as he is going forwards. Tink there with a little shoulder taking Ashton off. Not enough space to recycle him. Tink and those shoulders are a solid, solid combination. Looks like we have Jamie Dodger up to jam for not Wales and Porter up to jam for USA Finland. Not Wales there choosing to start by the GB EMS pivot line. That's Porter for USA Finland. Through for Lee Jammer. Jamie Dodger, they were chasing him down very quickly. Crossing over all the way around that track. Gets in with a cheeky couple of points. Pulls off the jam yet, so it looks like there's a... I think that's, that's two points apiece. Two points up for both teams. That uh, makes it 31 for not Wales and 85 for USA Finland. Halfway through this game now. Score standing at the moment, USA Finland 85, not Wales on 31. Now as we get Townsend round the inside, picks up lead straight away for USA. Truck Rogers, who although we called his name out at the start, has only actually just turned up the track early and was kid checked. So this is the first time we're going to see him on track now for not Wales. Picks up the forearms. So USA Finland power jam, Townsend approaching the back of the pack. Very, very sneaky move, managed to catch Townsend with the cut track, so we're going to see a change in power jam. Again, very short power jam coming up for not Wales. That was some great two work there with Kosh. And yeah, Kosh and Slam see Nesbitt. Nesbitt takes him off. Kosh perfectly in line, takes him back, forces the cut. USA Wales, um, USA Finland, my apologies, recycling all the way back. Tink trying to catch out Truck Rogers. That's going to be, a, yeah, that's a yep. low block call there. A low block called on Tink. Townsend back on track already. Jammer on Jammer takes takes out Truck Rogers. Jumps the apex land, like plants a foot and then also sticks the block on Truck Rogers. Kosh there just trying to do a number on uh, Townsend on the inside of turn one. Truck Rogers just bounces off acidic ferret from, from Finland. Karutin and Nat King Kill doing a nice Philly wall there. Henry the Skate just opened up a gap for Truck Rogers, but not enough time for him to get through the pack. For all you folks at home, we just want to say that the Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRD is the international governing body for men's flat track roller derby and wants you to join them in the growing world of men's roller derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRD, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. Looks like Binkley for USA Finland is on a power jam. Um, and just to keep you updated, McCabe 337 for not Wales has fouled out. 
Yeah, this still being played under the 30 minute bout rules, of course. It's four penalties for a foul out. Binkley now managing to rack up the points. Hopper managing to get Swifty out of the way to make space for Binkley. Hugo Boss is on track now and just trying to clear his space to get to the front of the pack. And Hugo Boss now tries to stop Binkley, but Binkley evades him. Little Joker being sent to the penalty box. And I believe that Binkley called that jam. With just over 11 minutes left of this game, we have not Wales on 32 points. USA, Finland stretching that lead with 124. Looks like starting this power jam for USA, Finland is Porter Truck Rogers now standing in the box, waiting to come back on track. Mannering is doing, trying to slow up Porter, but one-on-one -on -one is not going to be able to stop that USA jammer. Truck Rogers now on track, doing his first pass, while Porter gets through to pick up five for USA Finland. Truck Rogers playing a little bit of fifth blocker there. Five points on the board for USA Finland. Truck Rogers is being held at the back of the pack. Every time you manage to get close to the front, Tink is there. And Truck Rogers managed to make it through there on his initial pass. You may be able to see this at home watching, folks, but Seahorses is now skating on a mismatched pair of skates. Obviously not able to uh, correct the issue he was having before. Hopefully it's nothing too major. Nobody wants to have to shell out for a brand new pair of skates. Although to be fair, this weekend there are plenty of places here where you could buy a pair of skates if you need you, including Quad Skate Shop, Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and most stock of any store in the continent. With excellent consultation services, only a fellow skater can provide. We've got all your needs covered. We love this game. That's Quad Skate Shop. And of course, we're sitting right now looking at the Quad Skate Shop track. Of course. And uh, it's been pretty busy over in the Roller Derby City sponsored penalty box. So we had a short official time out there. And we're back ready to begin. Townsend jamming for USA. Jammy Dodger jamming for not Wales. Townsend just gets knocked to the outside by Hugo Boss. He's got two of the biggest blockers in the game in front of him. Slams in Esmond Hugo Boss, but he manages to slide round them. Jammy takes the long, fast route round the outside, and he's chasing down Townsend now. Both jammers out and running. Townsend just decides he's not going to get any points before Jammy Dodger also gets the points that calls off the jam. Jamie Dodger, of course, you may know from uh, skating with New Wheel Daughter, but you may also know as the tournament director. Absolutely. The man that's put all this together this weekend. He is a jack of all trades, and we cannot thank him enough. So back on now, Binkley jamming for USA Finland, picks up Lee Strayway. Jones just goes face to face with Seahorses, but Seahorses now back on his own skates. Recycles them right back to turn one. 
Jones managing to push his way through, but he is up once more against Tink and Io Block. Wow, that was a massive, massive hit. Tink taken off his feet. Looks like that big hit uh, caused Jones to be sent for a penalty. I didn't see what it was he was called for, but he has spent a minute in the box, meaning Binkley has a power jam. Uh, it's blocking with the head. Beautiful footwork by Binkley coming around the outside of those blockers there. Not Wales with that four wall. Little Joe just picks up an illegal procedure at the end of the jam there, but I'm not sure what the actual call was. I didn't actually pick up the verbal cue, but I saw Megalomaniac made the call of illegal procedure. USA Finland starting on a power jam now. Jones standing in the box. Now we're back to Porter jamming for USA Finland. Again, we've got that big knot wheels line up there. The blockers slams in as but Hugo Boss and Sausage Roller. Of course, three players who knew each other from the New Wheeled Order. Just manages to uh, slip round Hopper. that block, loses his feet, but of course Hopper also went out and down, so no compulsion to get back on uh, behind him. As you slide into the last five minutes of this game, our score stands not Wales on 32, USA Finland on 181. So we're back with Townsend jamming for USA Finland, picks up lead, jammer straight out of turn one. Kosh up to jam and looks like he is called for a high block. Yeah, Kosh went head to head there, which you cannot do. Townsend slides around the outside of Henry the Skate as Lil Joga returns the track now and immediately blocks seahorses down. <laughs> yeah, Joker returning to the track, wreaking havoc. However, it's not doing much to stop Townsend who just slides through the pack for another five points for USA Finland. Joker just busy pushing on the chest of Hopper. Forcing his way through so that not Wales can have that front wall. That hit there from Jamie Dodger looking like it took Townsend slightly off balance, not enough to hold him back though. Townsend makes this pack, he will break the 200 barrier for USA Finland, and that will do it. That's going to drop our score 32 not Wales, 201 USA Finland. A familiar sight, not Wales jammer, Kosh standing in the box, USA Finland starting on a power jam. <laughs> USA Finland on a pack advantage, only three not Wales blockers on the track, but they are some big lads. We've got Jones, Slamsey, Nesbitt and Swift. So power jam over as Kosh returns to the track now. Lead is still open. Kosh goes up the inside, takes a knee, so we've now got Kosh got two to beat in the form of Cartoon. But now it looks like Kosh is 
picks up the cut track there, so he's going to go back to the bin for a minute, leaving not Wales penalty killing again with only the two blockers on track. Swift throwing a massive shoulder to make his way through that pack. He was not being goated. So four on two with a power jam advantage towards USA Finland. Looks like Swift there with the fancy footwork not quite landing it, uh, getting sent to the box for a cut track. Slamsi Nesbitt now right, all on his own. We can confirm that that last penalty sending him to the box has fouled Kosh out. But there's only 58 seconds remaining on that clock as it's ticking down. Not Wales have been stuck on 32 for the last few jams. USA Finland pushed their score now to 215. Sorry, 220 is the scoreboard update. USA starting this power jam on a pack advantage. Three USA Finland blockers to the two that we've got out for not Wales. That's Porter jamming for USA Finland. Truck Rogers who replaced Kosh in the box now back on track. And just trying to get his way right past Peltola from Finland. Nasty uh, facing block from Seahorses. And that is time on this game. Um, but Seahorses is going to pick up an, an illegal, well, an interference call as it is, an illegal engagement blocking after the whistle. That's going to leave us at not Wales 32, USA Finland 225 at the end of our World Cup. Exhibition boat. Absolutely. Not a bad way to start the morning. Yeah, I think as far as warm-ups go, that's uh, that's a pretty thorough warm-up for the guys. Of course, this is the only half-hour game you will see today. Every other game you're going to see today is going to be a full regulation boat. Well, a short break in about 25 minutes until our next game gets underway. Next game is over on the Roller Derby City sponsored track and that will be Ireland, Japan. You can join me over there on the live feed with Holly Sheet. We're going to keep you up to date with everything that's going on. I'm looking forward to watching that on myself. I'm really looking forward Japan, to that Japan, of course, being a team that have gone from strength to strength um, through this competition, uh, every game improving. Ireland are going to be suffering the loss of one of their better players, Raven Buster, who was unfortunately dropped out of the competition yesterday with an injury. Yeah. Uh, Japan are also missing a player in uh, Sho, uh, who I believe sustained a broken collarbone yesterday. Wow. We do, of course, wish all the best and a speedy recovery to both those skaters. going to leave you with some uh, some sponsorship messages until the next game starts which I believe is at 10 o'clock GMT that is correct so for now I've been Sven will I be famous I've been Snoogans see you later thank you very much ladies and gentlemen goodbye <laughs>